what I'm offering is the biggest job creation program since World War II, and I hope to be able. But it's infrastructure. That's what Obama did. But he didn't get to do enough, and he didn't get enough support from the Congress. Hillary Clinton proposing spending $275 billion over five years to improve the country's roads and bridges. Mrs. Clinton says this will create jobs and improve the economy. My political power panel back with me now, Jillian Melcher, Deneen Borelli, and Sasha Burns. First to you, Jillian, does this make sense? Nope. It, it absolutely doesn't. I mean, I think what we have here is Hillary Clinton pitching the same sort of public work, stimulus era stuff that we've seen all throughout the Obama administration. Hasn't created jobs, has created a ton of waste and fraud and abuse. And unfortunately, we've got Donald Trump saying, uh, not only do I agree with that, I want to double down on it. I want to outspend her in this, in this sector. I, I just don't see a meaningful difference between these two candidates. So it's a, expensive mm -hmm. jobs, right? Maybe 600000 yeah. in the president's stimulus plan. Uh, go ahead, Denise. But they would also think? be temporary jobs. I mean, what happens when the, the work is done? I mean, I, I don't think this is going to work. And to your point, right, with the stimulus, you know, you get Obama and Jeffrey Immelt joking about shovel-ready jobs. That's not a laughing matter. We have way too many people who are out of work, out of the labor force, out of the labor market for many, many years. And so really it's pro-growth initiatives, lower tax, less regulations. That is how we help propel to grow the economy to get people employed. Yeah, it's shovel-ready, uh, shovel-ready shovel government spending, right? <laughs> well, Sasha, because I mean, it costs 600000 jo per job, the latest CBO analysis on the president's stimulus, which really didn't go that far and really was creating expensive jobs, right? Well, there are two different things, right? There's, the, there's creating jobs, but there's also repairing the infrastructure, which pretty much everyone agrees we have to do. I mean, when you, you look at these not completely nonpartisan uh, reports about our bridges and, and uh, highways crumbling, the infrastructure does have to be repaired. But what I love, because, I mean, I just, you know, there's sort of a, a schadenfreude about it, but the Republicans having, trying to deal with Trump being to the left of Hillary on this. He wants to double. He talked about three trillion in infrastructure last summer. Yeah, now I think he's at five hundred billion. Well, that's a very well, this well, is, well, this is Trump stimulus two point right. and it's outrageous. All right, I mean, hang on. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to explain. Let's show you what Trump means by mm -hmm. his infrastructure plan. He was on Varney today saying he can spend twice as much as Hillary on infrastructure. Here's how he says it would be funded. There's a difference here. Watch. And we're going to have to rebuild our infrastructure, and we have no choice. Who would put you, money into that fund? Excuse me? Who, who would put money into the fund? Uh, people, investors. People would put money into the fund. The citizens would put money into the fund. And uh, we will rebuild our infrastructure with that fund, and it'll be a great investment, and it's going to put a lot of people to work. So, Jillian, he's saying basically going into the bond markets and raising money from private investors. What do you think? I mean, it's as plausible as Mexico paying to build the wall. I mean, I, I do think it's going to come out of the pockets of people. Uh, those people are taxpayers, in fact. Um, but, I mean, this, this is just outrageous. It's more of the same that you've had from the Obama administration. We have two New York Democrat liberals who, you know, one recent convert, supposedly, who are putting forth a bridge and tunnel policy for our economics. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think agree mm -hmm. with this, uh, yeah. this level of spending. Here's the thing, Denise, when, you know, this happened in 81, one of the probably just as bad, if not worse, recession that we just went through. Uh, economic collapse, the banking crisis. Uh, Reagan, 81, they passed stimulus, government infrastructure spending. It right. only came into the system five years later uh, because at the state and local level, the politicians fought over it, right? And the economic recovery was underway, sure. well, right? More spending doesn't fix the problem. We're already $20 trillion in debt. Uh, Trump also supports minimum wage hikes. I don't agree with that either. So he's not a conservative I I ideologically. He's not conservative ideology. He and I, so I, I mean, he's also just so nonsensical. I mean, this fund that he's creating is just, I mean, Stewart's way too professional to have rolled his eyes, but I was just envisioning it in my head. Um, the only time that Trump ever had people invest in something was when he put his uh, casinos and hotels on the stock market, and it lost every year people lost their money. I mean, it's just, it's so ludicrous, and it just goes back to his lack of fitness because he doesn't make any sense. Julian, final word. Sure, one of the problems with the stimulus was the isolationism of it, the create American jobs, the lack of bidding. You know, that's how we end up with potholes that cro cost, you know, three or four yeah. times to fix what they do. There's nothing new here. You know what we didn't even get it to? The electrical grid really yeah. needs <laughs> infrastructure spending, but that's for another night, that's right? Important. Yeah, that's important. Yeah. Thank you, Julian Melcher, Janine Borelli, and Sasha Burns. Really appreciate it. Thanks Thank so you. much.